An ideology is a set of ideas and beliefs of a group or political party. So do we need that in Nigeria? Who will provide these ideas and beliefs? The president? The National Assembly? The judiciary? And what will the ideology be to resonate across a diverse country like Nigeria? The fundamental liberal ideals of freedom of speech, freedom of the press, freedom of religion for all belief systems, the separation of church and state, the right to due process, and equality under the law are widely accepted ideals of the American liberalism ideology. Now, modern liberalism in the United States embraces issues such as same-sex marriage, voting rights, civil rights, and access to social security, including health care and even welfare. The major political parties in the United States don't always agree on every element thrown up in liberalism. For example, many elements of the Republican Party vigorously oppose same-sex marriage and even mandated health care programs. Recently, Vladimir Putin, President of Russia, has said that he was not trying to impose a single state ideology and said many alternative theories would be tolerated. His belief is that unifying approaches on the teaching of history does not imply state-imposed bureaucratic and ideological unification. Considering all this, I think it is possible that Nigerians can agree to a Nigerian can-do spirit that believes that every Nigerian is equal under the law and free under the law to be the best in the country and in the world without repression concerning religion or ethnicity. As we agreed last time, an ideology is after all merely a comprehensive normative vision that is followed by a people, a community, a society, or even a nation. So a national ideology can define or reflect the structure of the nation and its stability by adopting ideals that are considered to be the usual and correct ways of doing something. I think we can hang our hat on this. In the final analysis, the Nigerian political parties would draw their own ideologies from a central premise that all Nigerians consider to be a usual and correct way of doing something. Even so, these so-called party ideologies will have their own specific and identifying elements. The debates as to which elements are more useful to a Nigerian global ascendancy would be what establishes winning solutions depending on geography and economic or social orientation. And so as we concluded, we need in general, a Nigerian can-do spirit that is courageous, honest, fair, and committed to the pursuit of personal excellence that brings glory to God. I'm Magnus Paco, and that's my view. Thank you.